Hey y'all, welcome back to Shannon Reeks World. So today we're going to be putting some window privacy film, which is this little box right here. And we're gonna be putting it on our back door, which this is the back door that we're going to be tackling. All right guys, let's get into this project. So we have the miliner window privacy film. Um, she wants it installed on her back glass door. Uh, the door was sprayed during the paint process, uh, white. I think it used to be green. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think it was green, so she sprayed the trim white. Um, she's changing out all the hardware to bronze. But before that gets done, we're going to install the window privacy film. Uh, steps for that, we took the blinds down, uh, cleaned it, cleaned the glass with glass cleaner. Uh, we used donor invisible glass. Um, got us a spray bottle with uh, water. You can do uh, warm water um, or you can do with this one just water. Uh, you can also do water and with a little soap mixture like just put a dab of Dawn in it. Um, Basically, all you're going to do is just take the water, spray it on the glass. Just so it has a little lubricity. Just so it has a little bit of lubricity into it. Uh, then we're going to take the actual window film. And actually, we got this one from Lidl. And it was like $7 for the tube. And it's really made to go, I'm gonna move up some. You can actually see, it's made to go across a long window like this, or the smaller windows across. So basically we're gonna use it the long way. So I'll show you how she wants it. Take your film and it comes like this. And it has this little plastic sheet on it. You wanna peel, all right, you gotta, I'm gonna get trying to hold that side. You wanna peel this plastic off. Then your hair is going to stick up. It's kind of crazy, right? I feel like my hair is sticking up. Set it back with me. Alright, so to leave you with this piece of plastic. And you want to set this plastic aside and save it for a project later. We won't waste anything. We're going to use that for something else. Right? Alright, grab the bottom of it like a sheet, like you're folding a sheet. Because the, Now bring it to me. Thank you. I can't see any of this. So basically I had her fold it towards me so I can flip the side that the plastic was on to go against the side that has the window on it. So we're gonna just line this up as best we can. It's the bottom. Nope, no it ain't. It's the bottom, it is the bottom I cut. But I didn't realize that plastic, she's right. It is the bottom. And she is cut jagged and terribly. But it's gonna get edited up. It's the bottom, but when I took the plastic off, the plastic was on this side. Right here. Mm -hmm. So with the plastic being on this side, this is the side that this side that, that touches it, the mm -hmm. film, and the side you want the water to go onto. Okay. And it's just make sure you don't get any junk or debris in it. So now you're gonna just laying it up there. And you're going to squeegee it into place. So, in order for me to get the lines the way she wanted it, she wants the larger lines on this side going to the small lines on this side. I had to do it like that. And I'm just basically taking it. And moving it into place. Just basically try and line it up at the top. 
Which I was doing a great job, now I'm doing a terrible job of it because I have all these bubbles showing up. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's do this part again. Up here. That's because that was supposed to be at the bottom. No, that's because it's cut too short. Well, let me show you what happens when you cut a piece of film too short. You got to keep the leg on it. Good thing about cutting the film too short is she's keeping blinds on this window. So, and I overlap it, so I don't see why it's short, but. Looking short to me. Alright, now it's reaching. Well, it's not really sure. I didn't have it lined up right. Okay. Then you want to. over too far on this side. Alright, we're gonna do it. It's the right left now. Now I just gotta get this part lined up. And it's not sticky. So it's forgiving. You can do this all day. One thing you might want to do is just add a little bit more water while you're playing with it. It's not like you're, oh, it's not going to work. You stuck it down. and No, nah, it's, it's just plastic. You just want to make sure you line it up as good as you can before you actually go squeegee it out. Alright, I'm not going to get a couple more centimeters over here, so. Mm, I'm going to have to trim the excess off. Maybe just a little bit too wide. But this time I'll take my time when I trim it. All right, Jan, go ahead and uh, come respray with me. Now that I got it lined up, I'm going to get Jan to respray. All right, now that I got it lined up, I'm going to start squeegee process. Squeegee process is basically you want to Push all the air and the water out. Get yourself a squeegee. We got two squeegees, uh, one big one, one small one. We even have a cricket squeegee. This is a little rough on the edge. I'm a little nervous about that. So I'm using a foam one. Start with the big one. Go from the center, push out. Center, push out. Center, push out. Just kind of like putting on a, a protective uh, glass thing for a cell phone to me. That's what it feels like. That's what it reminds me of anyway. And you just want to work all the air bubbles out to the edges. Being that 
that is um, plasticky and not sticky based. I think if you weren't happy with the lineup that you did, you should be able to take it back off and redo it again. But I don't know. Hopefully. Yeah, see if it's reusable. Oh, it's reusable? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's awesome. And you want to just work from center out, getting all the bubbles out. And when you get to the edges, I'm gonna have her look at it and see if she's cool with the edges before I go cut with box cutter. Once she's cool with that, once she likes it, I'll then go and trim off the excess off the edges. And then she will have her privacy film put in. And does the box say how long it takes for the water to dry? Mm-mm. Uh -uh. Actually, probably 24 hours. One good day, let the sun come out. Probably 24, 48 hours. No more than that. Dry, she might be dry by the mall. That thing up was kind of tricky to Yep. Wipe off all the excess water around your door. And take off the excess on the actual vinyl or please plastic what is the thing called plastic protector mm -hmm. vinyl or what window privacy film okay so off the film you pull out all the excess water and that's for me not doing an excellent cut you see right here I started I eyeballed and I should have cut over. But I can line up, make it look good. That's what you hear me anyway. So come look and see if you like the uh, edges or whatever. I know, see, I gotta trim it. I don't wanna cut it. If you say, oh no, I want you to slide this over more, I can't take that. You know, when you see what you gotta do to slide. And that's really the only part I see. That's, that's fine. You good with that? Yeah. Cool. Hold that. And I hold this. Rocky, right, this one. And then you're just going to take hey. your box cutter. Oh, we got air bubbles at the top. You got a bunch of air bubbles. Oh, okay. Yeah, you probably want to take it first and score it up. So you can get it started. And you know what? Ooh, a knife. My Zacro knife, I have no clue where it's at. I have one, but who knows where. And that's where you got them uh, films from? Mm -hmm. Inside your, uh, what's the with paint? Yeah, where that, that paint tote had some. But, um, I'm just gonna pull it out like this. I, it's just cause this, this thing didn't really come out so far. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Take the blade out. Use my hand. Uh, inside your tote where the paint was, or your hot glue sticks. And in my brain, kind of where I think it might be. It, that's I seen it. That's on that shelf, ain't it? it? I think I did put it in the shelf on the garage. But you're let me lie to you now. I bet you it's way more sharper than this though. Mm 
you just put a little pressure on your blade, not too much that you're um, cutting, like if you have any type of uh, caulking or something on your glass and your trim of your door, you don't want to put too much pressure where you're actually just cutting out any caulking that might be there. You kind of want to, I'm just trying to score this plastic. So you can get just a little bit of it out. And then you're just gonna take your time taking it off. Take off the little excess trim. A little bit you don't need. And I'm gonna grab this squeegee again. And being that I left at this corner, I'll put just a touch more water. And go right back and just squeegee out to those corners. Pushing all your edges. Don't drag. Same process, just push into the sides of the plastic. You're basically just trying to cut the film. Trying to trim off the excess. Not any caulking. If it helps, you can take your nail and kind of rub it in the edge first and then come behind it with the blade. And just get a fish out, a little piece you cut off. Cutting this up. Got it. From there, a little bit of extra. And it came up just a touch here, so I'm just going to hit it with a little bit more water, squeeze it back out.
you know, blow the bubbles up from where I opened it. Glass uh, is covered with a privacy film. It's soft to the touch, very smooth. Um, still water behind it. It's gonna, I guess, wick and dry out. And basically, that's what it looks like. So what we'll do now is put these old grungy metal blinds up there. Back and maybe I'll do a video of changing the blinds out. But that's basically it. Privacy. And she's still gonna run her blinds. So it's that simple. And I'm just gonna take the rest of this little bit of a uh, privacy film and put it on her front door. So you all wanna see that? Come on with us. All right, so we're doing the process all over the same way for this window. Uh, I'm gonna take this little plastic off. She's cleaning it with a stoner invisible glass glass cleaner. And we're gonna I guess down to that little piece that's left. It's just kind of hard to unravel, but and basically just separate that away from that film. And it's not sticky. Hey, hold it up. Not sticky, it's just the fact that end of the film roll, so it's real kind of tight. Yep. I should get this part on. And that just wants to roll right up. And basically, we're going to take this, and instead of doing it the long way, one, because it's only this much film left after you do a door, we're going to do it the way that the box said that it was intended to be done on windows. Uh, from big to tiny. But if you look at this actual plane, this window pane is uh, longer than this. So we're gonna take the big from the bottom and then shoot up to the open clearness of the sky. And it should give you three fourths of privacy. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh, is that a half glass? No, it actually might be a three fourths glass. I don't know, there's a name for it. But we're gonna just sink this right in here. And we might as well just go right there because it's just a little remnant piece, leftover piece. And it basically goes to about right there. So it's gonna give you Maybe a quarter of his glass left. Uh, uncover and expose, but that should also give you, still give you good lighting from his glass. So it's not taking all your lighting out, which I don't know why people, I guess, get these windows put in these doors. Oops, it keeps. Search for that piece that lets uh, light in the foyer area. That's tell you, lining these things up, girl. I tell you, I should let you do this one. Mm -hmm. I think I got it straight. Whew. That's the work. And on this one, I don't really have to see if she likes the edges because there's a little tissue. It has overlapping. I just gotta be 
straight enough. Um, so basically, I did the same thing process with the door. Went down the center, wiped the excess, taking the water off of the edge of this, wiping the water out the off the plastic. Um, okay, I can wipe the water off the top of here. Okay, let's see, and go all the way up there. But well, I like it because it gives you a little light. And then squeeze you to the sides. Squeeze you to the sides. And I get all the water and air bubbles out. And then we go get this blade. And this time, I'm going to take my nail and go in this corner and like pre push. So I'm going to take my other thing, nail, the thumbnail pre push. Then I'm going to take this dull blade. And you know what? Let me try a different blade because this blade is dull as long as I would. And there's no type of cut radius on it. Mm -hmm. Take one blade out to get another blade. Put the blade back in the safety holder so you don't forget it. Nobody comes across and grabs the blade and cuts their so. Even though they're so dull, I don't think anybody could cut anything where you couldn't cut the butter with these blades. Giving me jagged edges. So I'm gonna try this trick. I'm gonna cut up towards the back to open up the plastic. Then I'm gonna take this. Has a piece of old plastic on it off the edge, and I'm gonna go back in, push one more game because that took some time. And cut straight down the side. And pull off the excess like that. A little, a little bit extra excess. We can save this too. We don't throw that away either. We keep that. We keep this plastic. We even keep this cardboard too. She keeps it. There's something you can do with that. You can do something with all this stuff. Waste not, why not? All right, same process on the other side. I'm going with one nail, push into the edge. Take my thumbnail, push into the edge. Try that. Get it in there good. Go up with the first cut. Push up. Switch hands. Put this over here. And I'm gonna grab ooh, a lefty cut. This is gonna be fun. Re-push in with my finger. Ooh. Yeah. Back door. Not too worried about perfect cuts on. You know, I like to be perfect on everything I do. I'm human. But this front door is where people come in. And people come, people will see. You kind of want to get well, as good as you can get it. All right, let me go back in. And if you got any areas that are uncut, Back in. Boom. If I can give y'all any suggestions on this stuff, get a daggone sharp razor blade when you do it. Yeah, I'm not sure if I found my exact knife I did. But it leaves you with a little piece left like that. So you end up with about this much paper off of that running roll. And for like seven bucks. And I'm sure really somebody, some crafter could do something with this. I mean, no jokes aside. Or all jokes aside. <laughs> so it could be reused. I guarantee you I could find something to do with it. All right, let's put this blade back in here. I need to throw these blades in a box. Throw the trash on and buy some new blades. Put cap back on your visit glass. Put your visit glass up. I'm going to squirt a little bit more water on it. We're going to squeeze you this corner. 
down here. I have to lift it. First, does the sun hit under here good? Mm -hmm. Dry the wood region. And as you see, this door I think was I think it was green too. She sprayed this door white and. And change out the hardware, I think, on this door too. But as you see, window privacy, so awesome. What do you think? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. It's crooked. Uh, no, I don't like that half a window. You want I it want all the whole window thing. You want it all the way up to the top? Yeah. You're yeah. gonna take some of your light away. That's fine. I mean, if you hang curtains up there, it takes away. Well, yeah, I'm about to put your curtain but, back. That's what the rod is for, the curtain. I'm yeah, about. but I want it all the way so that I don't have to put a curtain up there. Oh, you don't want a curtain on at all? Mm -mm. Ah! I thought you was always going to have curtains up there. Mm -mm. Well, we always had curtains on all the other houses. Okay. Well, well you want me to take it down? No, you can leave it up there for now. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, basically, same thing with the blinds in the uh, on the back door. You just go ahead and put your window treatment back up. And I got this one Jimmy rigged because she has a certain color scheme in this house she's going for. So... This rod is too fat for these eyelets right here. So I came up with a way to do that. And then, boy, come here. Oh. Get there. I gotta look at water. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen what it looked like with the light on, light off. Yeah. Let's see if I can turn the light on and see if we can get these curtains. I like the curtains. And put this over here. That. And that's what you get to see with the curtains in place. Yeah, but I can't see nothing with the curtains in place and with the light on right there. Well, take the phone off and take them outside. I'll show them uh, backwards. All right, so that's what it looks like from the outside. So it has doesn't have it at the top which I'm gonna get a whole another piece for it to cover the whole piece and I might get another a different one for the front one but this is it from the top huh so y'all trying to get a sneak peek of the inside but the videos is coming soon not quite finished with my inside yet but almost but you can look at my reef fall reef that's my fall reef. 
All right, y'all. Thanks for watching Shannon Reese World. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell. And make sure you tell a friend, tell a friend to come subscribe to Shannon Reese World. And she really is saving it, y'all. But it's going to her garage. Yes, it is. Thank you, girl. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.